This is an old frame cover that we used to offer. We're a TV show over here now. <laughs> I just think this shelf is so cute now. That's another thing, I want to do a guest book. I Oh, the things I don't think about. I love this photo. I just finished packing up some orders. And Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am starting this vlog at the most random time. It's 5.12 p.m. on January 12th. It's a Friday today. I am actually pretty tired too, but I was in the mood to vlog. So here I am starting a vlog. This is gonna be a few days of my life. I have some exciting things happening too coming up. Tomorrow, Sean and I have our engagement shoot. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm also a little like concerned because I was hoping for snow to be on the ground and we got like a big snowstorm last week, like 12 inches of snow. And then a bunch of rain came and melted it all away. So there's like no snow on the ground for these photos, which is fine. I'm sure they'll still turn out great, but I just got my nails done today. I kept the same nails that I had right before I got them done. Uh, I just wanted to fill them in and clean them up so that they weren't, you know, grown out in the photos and my nails are so long too because the last like two or three times i've gone to get them filled i just kept the length that they were at because they charge you for everything and i'm like they're gonna charge me like five ten dollars to shorten the length so i didn't want to bother and i'm fine with this length anyways but this is probably like the longest i would have them but yeah uh right now we need to do some grocery shopping tonight and we might go to my parents but i want to start working on some punch needle for an order and I'm very excited because Sean made me this mini frame. It's the small frame size that we sell on our Etsy, which um, if they're still sold out, they'll be restocked very soon. Otherwise, we just restock them. And I should mention this because it was a little confusing for one of my customers. When we say that we're restocking the frames, they're not ready to ship, which I can understand why people would think that because usually restock is like you get them back in stock like in your inventory but we just restock them in the sense of adding more to the website and then our processing time is still what it says it is so like five to seven days to make and ship them we just like sell them out and restock them to help break up the workload so this is a small one and then we have the large one they come assembled so you don't have to put them together or anything when you receive them. This is an old frame cover that we used to offer. Sean made me it when we offered those and it just feels so nice. It's like blanket material. So anyways, I'm gonna be working on the small frame. I'm gonna do some Pooh Bear designs for an order. She ordered two Pooh Bears. So I think I can fit at least two. We'll see if I can fit more. And yeah, I don't know exactly what's gonna be in this vlog. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like film or anything tomorrow, but I will show you the engagement photos when we get them back, he said that it's gonna take like a week to edit and he's editing a hundred photos, which is crazy. Yeah, and then we're thinking if we don't love the photos, we can always retake them come spring or summer because they're for the invitations and we're not planning on getting married until May of 2025, which let me like give you an update on wedding planning because I haven't talked about that like at all. So my best friend and I, who's gonna be one of my maid of honors, we went to get some coffee the other day and we spent a couple of hours wedding planning. So I have a document that I'm looking at. I wrote down a wedding dress boutique that one of you commented in one of my videos that I wanna check out. It's called The White Dress by the Shore in Connecticut. So thank you so much if that was you that commented that because it looks very intriguing. The dresses are pretty cheap, the sample dresses. And then I got a concept for my bridesmaids and like the flowers for the bouquets. So let me show you, I'm like making sure there's nothing, I shouldn't be showing on the screen. I think this is fine. Um, so this is what I'm thinking for the bridesmaids and myself. I'm looking more at a mermaid cut dress, I think. That's like where I'm gonna start. I haven't tried on any dresses. But I love the color of their dresses. It's like a dark sage. And then I love that they have baby's breath. Uh, my friend and I were saying maybe we'll add some like eucalyptus or greens into the flowers. But I'm thinking baby's breath for the bridesmaids and then a bouquet of white roses for myself. And we might add greens into the roses. But I don't know. I kind of love just the white. And then for like the center pieces at the tables, we might do baby's breath with a white rose. And honestly, we're probably gonna get the baby's breath from like Trader Joe's or something and then just get like 12 stemmed white roses from a floral shop. Anything with the word wedding in it is automatically more expensive. So, so I'm trying to avoid like going to a flower shop and asking for a wedding bouquet because you know, you know. And then the dresses, my best friend's 
sister's best friend got married recently and she used a website called Azazi and I really like it because you can filter by color and then all the dress styles in that color show up and so I'm just gonna send my bridesmaids a link to the color I chose right now I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the matcha which is that dark sage green and if you scroll through it there's just like a whole bunch of different styles and I love that idea because the bridesmaids can choose a dress that flatters them the best and that they feel comfortable and confident in and you can also like try on the dress before you commit to it so that's really good because I do love the idea of all the bridesmaids having the same dress but I know that not everyone feels the best in the same dress so I'm totally fine with them having different styles but I like that the color will be the exact same because you can say like oh let's do a sage green but then everyone gets like a slightly different shade I don't really want that to happen so I love this concept um, and then what else did we do? Oh, I wrote down some ideas for my bridesmaids proposal boxes. I don't know, I have to look into this, but I'm thinking maybe an embroidered silk robe. And then I wanna do a Yeti with their name, uh, laser engraved onto it using my X-Tools laser engraver. Um, probably like a pink Yeti or a white Yeti. And then like a Summer Fridays lip butter and maybe something else. I'm sure there'll be other things that are like in by the time that I send out the bridesmaids proposal boxes. I'll probably do that like a year out from the wedding so we still have like a lot of time. We're looking at wedding cake ideas. I think I might do like a white cake at all the tables uh, and then like a special cake for Sean and I or we're thinking we want to do food trucks for like the catering so we might do a dessert food truck or a couple dessert food trucks. We really like that idea so the food might be food trucks and then I wrote down some ideas for the bachelorette party um, I was thinking we could do like a homesy event, either fragrance making, chocolate making, or what we're more likely going to do is there's uh, like bus tours that you can do where they have charcuterie boards for everyone and, and you have a destination you get picked up at and dropped off at and it's just like a full day. So I got some information on that. I reached out to them and then I put an idea down on where I want to have a bridal shower. So just like getting some basic ideas and visions down. Nothing too crazy. We also have been reaching out to some wedding venues and getting more information. Like we found one, I really like this one, that is on a farm and it overlooks a bunch of mountain and just I feel like it would be so gorgeous in the spring and you can bring food trucks. It's dog friendly. We want Duncan to be in the wedding as the ring bearer. <laughs> but like a lot of this too is like ideas that we need to like work out and see what can actually happen um, but yeah so we are just getting into the wedding planning I wanted to give that update because I haven't really talked about any wedding planning stuff on here and yeah now it's 521 let's start working on the Pooh Bear punch needle coasters okay I lied and before I do the punch needle I'm gonna pack an order what do you have something to say no. <laughs> Sean and I were just talking and I was like okay tell them what we were talking about before I turned the camera on but um we decided we're gonna do like a series. I say we, I guess technically I am doing a series. And this will be the first video in the series uh, titled Off Season Chronicles. Um, I don't know if that's super intuitive as to what we're talking about, but like off season as in not doing pop-ups for the small business. <laughs> um, and yeah, we just want like a catchier title for my videos. Sometimes I feel like I don't wanna vlog because everything's the same, but Honestly, that's kind of just lately because I've been making so many car coasters, but do you have something to add? I think it gives like a storyline that you can follow because you're like, then somebody watching can see what order it's in. Where's one, where's two. Yeah, yeah that that's actually a really that. good point because people usually say like studio vlog number whatever and I have stopped doing that. So you don't know like what order is the correct order if you're trying to go chronologically. So off season chronicles. And then I'll say like, what, episode one, episode two? Or number one, number two. Probably episode. We're a TV show over here now. <laughs> so that's our plan with that. Uh, but I'm gonna pack at least one order um, because I got a punch needle order today. And I like to do the quick tasks before the longer tasks like punch needling. So let me see. Okay, just one punch needle. And then I also wanted to show you, I completed my first felting project and like needle felting. And if you've been watching for some time, I've been talking about wanting to do this for a while, 
finally got around to it. I did it with my best friend. I got her a kit as well. And this kit is from Felted Sky. I will link her Etsy below. I think she's on Etsy, yeah. Look at how cute. So obviously it's a couple of mushrooms. But yeah, I think it's adorable. And then I put this crocheted mushroom on top of this crocheted like plant. <laughs> I just think this shelf is so cute now. This is what they all look like together. But isn't that so cool? I don't think I would add it to my business because it... <laughs> I mean, it took my friend and I like five hours because, you know, we were like leisurely doing it and we did it over a period of a few days, but I'm really happy with it. I think it's adorable. I also just wanted to show you the car coaster board real quick. It's looking a lot better than what it looked like when we finished the market season, but there's still a ton of restocking to do. I want to have at least four of every design by the time we start markets again, and I'm still out of some designs, especially like... You can see there's a gap down there. I usually have more designs than what can fit on here, so definitely have more to do. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna try to like do all that at the beginning of this break or do it throughout the break. I'm starting to feel like I'm just gonna keep doing it throughout the break because there's other things I wanna get to and this is just taking a while. But this is the update on the car coaster inventory. Good morning, today is Saturday and it's 11.15 right now. We just finished a little workout as you saw. <laughs> Do not judge my form in any of those clips. But I don't know if I've talked about this, but Sean and I have a goal, or not so much a goal, we're just going to do it, where we are gonna be on Peloton program for most of the year. That might change, but we at least will be working out consistently. So right now we're doing Rebecca Kennedy's five day intermediate split and we're doing that for four weeks. So we just started our second week today and then we'll just like pick other programs we wanna do. And then I also want to run 30 minutes every week. And I did that this week. This was the second week doing it. I did it for the You Can Run program and then I did it Thursday just watching like YouTube. And so I think Thursday is, we'll have to see how the split is cause we started it like today. So we'll have to see when our off dates are, but I plan on running on an off day, but I will say Friday, I was pretty exhausted. So that's probably why. <laughs> uh, another update, I need to shower quickly because I want my hair to be dry in time for the photo shoot, which is at 2.30, but I've been in contact with the photographer and his life has been kind of chaotic, so I understand him not being able to respond right away. Although today is the day of the shoot, and I messaged him a few days ago saying where we wanted to do it because he gave us a few different location options. And then I also messaged him last night basically saying, what are your thoughts on tomorrow's shoot given all the rain because it's raining most of today and we're going to a state park and I just feel like it's gonna be really muddy. I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe we have the shoot today, maybe we don't. I will keep you updated, but I'm gonna prepare as if we are having it just in case. So. I'm gonna go shower and then I don't know exactly what we're doing after. Either I'm gonna work on punch needle or we're gonna head to the grocery store. We're probably going grocery shopping right after I shower and this might be a later task. So yeah, that's the update. I finished a poo bear yesterday. I don't know if I showed that. And I really like this small frame. I feel less overwhelmed when I'm working on this because I'm like, oh, I only have a little bit to do. So yeah, I'm gonna keep working on that later and I will keep you posted. Okay, lots of updates since I last spoke to you. I showered and I need to blow dry my hair. It's 12.15 right now. The photographer got back to us and we are planning on rescheduling the shoot, but my mom had the great idea of doing an indoor engagement shoot at one of the buildings in Manchester. So that's what we're gonna do. My best friend's gonna take the photos. My mom is coming as well so that Duncan can be in some of the photos and she'll handle him for the photos he's not in. I also took a bunch of inspo from Pinterest and screenshotted different poses 
that I like. And then I also found some <laughs> with a dog to get some ideas. I'm gonna go shave my legs, moisturize, put makeup on, and get into my outfit. We might do two different outfits. And yeah, I will be able to take you as well. I will see you when it's time for the photos. So we took photos at a few different locations, but I only got this clip of the photo shoot because we ended up using my camera for the photos because we could not, for the life of us, figure out the settings on her camera to take not washed out photos. So ended up using my camera, but enjoy this quick clip of some of the photos. We didn't end up using any of these photos for anything. Um, I will explain soon and I will also show the photos that we did get. Also, I took my heels off here, don't judge. Obviously, I'm barefoot on this floor, but I didn't want to be taller than Sean in the photos, so that was the solution. <laughs> okay, it's a lot of while later. It's eight o'clock right now, and we are cooking some dinner. I put together the salad. We have tomatoes, two different types of tomatoes, heirloom and then cherry tomatoes, and then lettuce, fried onion, and cucumber, and then green pepper. And Sean made the chicken, and we're gonna do Greek dressing and feta as well, and then he's gonna put olives in his. Oh, thanks, I was like, What's, why is this so loud? Um, but yeah, the photo shoot went really well. Um, we had to kind of figure out the settings on her camera, and I didn't get much footage because we ended up using my camera, which we also were like playing around with the settings and trying to figure it out. I think they turned out well. We got, a, we, I mean, we only needed a few, like for the save the dates. So I'm gonna insert some of them right here and I'll show you what I think the save the date is gonna look like. Let me grab my computer. Okay, it's a lot quieter in here, but as I was saying, we were playing around with my camera. So hopefully I have the settings back to where I had them before we messed with them for vlogging. But let me show you what the save the dates are gonna look like. So we're gonna have a translucent piece of paper with save the date, etc., written on it. I think we're gonna do it in black, but we might do it in white if that's an option. And then we're gonna like put a hole punch and a little like metal piece that will open up and secure the two pages together. This part will be over cardstock or photo paper or whatever, probably cardstock of the photos. So then you just like slide this open and the cardstock is under it. Um, I saw it on Instagram, I think the idea and I just love it so much. So it's kind of like this, yes. But they're two separate pages. So the first page will be these two photos and I have it, I have the writing over it right now. You can't see it because obviously it's gonna be like a separate page where you can read it better, but I wanted to kind of see what it would look like. So we have Sean and I and Duncan looking out a window and then this photo I just love so much. Duncan, Sean, and my hand all together. So this will be the photo that goes under the sheer part and this is gonna be the sheer part. Maybe we'll put something in the center here. Obviously we're gonna do like a trial run and see how we like them, but I'm really excited about these. I think they turned out really nicely and I'm glad that my best friend was the one who took them. So that's really special as well. But I'm gonna go have some dinner and then continue working on Punch Needle. morning it's the next day it's Sunday 10 a.m. right now and honestly we were having quite the party before I turned the camera on <laughs> so I'm gonna try to make this clip short so we can get the music back on Sean is sewing not sewing cutting fabric on the ground right now in order to sew <laughs> in order to sew frame covers my plan today is to keep working on the punch needle I think we're going to my parents later surprise surprise but this is where we're at. So I finished another Pooh Bear last night. I have one more and then four phone grips. So definitely should be able to get this done today. But I'm going to start off my quote unquote work day by, I say quote unquote because it's literally Sunday, but by packing some orders. And I also wanted to show you, I made a matcha, but this is not any old matcha. This is the best matcha I've ever had because I use the limited edition Chobani creamer. It's white chocolate raspberry and it made this taste like a bubble tea. It's so good, like a milk tea. I mean, that's essentially what 
my matcha is anyways is like a milk tea but adding that flavor made it like a strawberry milk tea like if you added tapioca pearls to this it would be like one of the best milk teas i've ever had i'm not even joking and i've had a lot of milk teas so anyways i'm gonna get to packing some orders and then we will see where the day takes us i also have a tiktok i've been trying to be better at posting on tiktok and instagram reels and one way that i found helpful is I create albums on my phone, on my camera roll, for like the video concepts. If they're not like concepts that can get done like this, oh, I need to put my ring on. So for example, one of the videos is gonna be my fiance's five to nine after his nine to five, cause that's kind of a trend on TikTok, like people showing their five to nines that work corporate jobs, like they show their workout, they're just their nighttime routine essentially. But Sean's is so different because he's usually working on the business. so. I've taken clips over like the past week of the different things he does after his nine to five. Um, so they're all in this folder titled fiance's nine to five. And I'll use these clips when I go to edit. So that's been helpful so far. I've done it with a couple other videos. I have like one called life recently, which I need to actually delete these photos and add more. And I can start doing posts like this on my Instagram, just literally saying life recently as the caption. So yeah, that's a tip, I guess, if you're also trying to post more on TikTok or Instagram and you're like, don't know how to organize the content that you want for different videos. Um, but yeah, let's pack up some orders. Say what you want, girl, yeah, your habit. Four times this week, that just can't happen. To be honest, you're doing things to me, girl. Okay, I just finished packing up some orders and now I'm actually gonna head to the living room and work on some wedding planning. So obviously we're still very far out from the wedding. Um, we don't even have a venue booked. We don't have a date picked, but we're thinking May, I think I've talked about this, end of May, early June of 2025. Ideally end of May, cause that's like off peak at a lot of places, so it's cheaper. But I'm just trying to like get a feel for things that need to be done. And something I didn't even consider that I do wanna do is a website. So I was just looking into like what should be on a website for your wedding. Um, I'm on Wix right now creating like a free website just to see like the template. I think we'd put like photos from yesterday, the photos on the save the dates on the website. But lately I've been using ChatGPT for a lot of different things and it's so helpful. So I literally put into ChatGPT what should I put on my wedding website and they gave me like a whole thing. If anyone else is wedding planning, you should have an introduction, a warm welcome message, a brief story of how you met and fell in love, that's like the intro. Then wedding details, including date and time, location of the ceremony and reception, dress code if applicable, any specific instructions or requests for guests, RSVP, an online RSVP form to make it easy for guests to respond. We don't know if we're sending a hard copy of a wedding invitation yet. If we can do it online seamlessly, then we're probably going to. Venue information, directions to the ceremony and reception venues, parking information, then accommodation, recommendations for nearby hotels, information on any specific room blocks or discounts, registry information, wedding party, uh, photos and brief bios of the wedding party, photo gallery, contact information, schedule of events, special requests, um, interactive elements, a uh, guest book for messages for attendees. That's another thing, I wanna do a guest book. I, uh, the things I don't think about. But yeah, uh, this is definitely helpful to get an idea of like those little things. I have a wedding planning book too that has a lot of information in it. But right now I'm gonna just like play around with the website. And then I also ordered everything. I know it's early, call me crazy, but I ordered everything for the wedding invitations, or I keep calling them invitations, for the save the dates. We're gonna attempt to just make them on our own. I was looking at Vistaprint to print out the cardstock portion, but it's still $95 and it was a lot cheaper to get the stuff off Amazon. But I got envelopes for the save the dates. I got the translucent printable paper 
And then I got the cardstock. It's five by seven premium Arctic matte inkjet photo paper. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Um, I got a hundred sheets of that to start. I wanna just experiment, see how I like it. And then I can order more if need be. And then we got the grommet toolkit with eyelet pliers for like connecting the two pages together. And then once they're together, the translucent page that has like saved the date, our names, all that will slide up. And then the photo of us and Duncan will be under it. So I ordered all that. I know it's early, but we know what we want to do for the save the dates. So, and then I think I'll put the website on the back of all of the cardstock pages as well. We're going to attempt to make our own. I'm going to look at this website for a bit and then I will punch needle. We also are going to do a workout today. So I don't know the exact order of events, but yeah. just talking with Sean and pretty positive that we want to do the invitation save the date like as one so it'll be a save the date but then they'll have to go to the website to RSVP we don't see a point in sending out invitations again yeah it might be like a better reminder for people but it'll be in big enough font on the back of the save the date to RSVP and we'll make it clear that that's also the invitation like you have to go to the website to RSVP saves paper saves time I know we're not the only ones who do it that way either so okay I filmed this like an hour or two ago but I'm refilming it because because I think I had the website name in the video and obviously I don't want that shared. But this is like the draft of the website. Obviously I've included everything that I can include up to this point. There's gonna be a lot more information that we need to put on here. Um, but up here we have a toolbar which lets you navigate to each section quicker. And then it's just we're getting married. John and Jessica will have the date and location here once we figure that out. There's an RSVP button. And then there's a photo of Sean and I from yesterday. And our colors are going to be like a sage green. We might do other colors too, but at least sage green. So that's what I put for this website so far for the theme. Um, and then it says celebrating our love with those we love. Another photo of us, ceremony, reception details. Um, and then it says not just an ordinary love story, our little quick <laughs> story of how we met. Um, and then some photos of us. Sorry, it's giving me like a fish eye view because of my lens, but... And then these were like quotes that were on here. I might change them, I might not, but it says, To the world, you are one person, but to one person, you are the world. Um, another photo from yesterday. And then travel and stay. So again, we'll update this once we have more information. But it's getting there once you're there and where to stay. Um, and then registry. Again, we will update this. Um, I love this photo. And then hope to see you soon and we're gonna have our contact information but yeah this is very exciting we are about to do a workout so i'll get some of that on camera and then i will finally punch needle <laughs> this is much more of a wedding planning vlog than a work vlog but hey that's okay
It's two o'clock right now. I just showered and I'm having a snack. I'm having some almonds. These are coconut coated almonds. They're so good. And then I'm having this apple berry banana. Essentially it's a go-go squeeze. It's by a different brand though, it's Nature's Promise. And it has super good ingredients. I was looking at go-go squeeze too, but those ones had like fruit concentrate, which I didn't want to have. This is like fruit purees and then vitamin C. So it's apple puree, blackberry puree, raspberry puree, banana puree, and ascorbic acid, which is the vitamin C. Yep. I mean, how, how would that not taste good? It's like an applesauce, but with other flavors. Okay, I'm gonna have a snack while I work on some punch needle. Let's finish up the punch needle. I just need to be better at not taking breaks. So yeah, let's get to work. Well, that was very unfortunate. <laughs> I'm gonna clean this up now. We just cleaned up all the glass. Sean heard it and came to help. Um, and it went like everywhere. It shattered into a million pieces. I really liked that vase too. It was right here. The issue is this is like super wobbly. We need to figure it out. Oh, I think he just put, nice. He put a uh, cardboard under it. So this should be a lot better. I also wanted to show you this area. I never really show you over here because I don't point the camera this way, but I hung up the cake that was for my three year birthday for the business. And I just think it's such a cute little corner. You can probably see why I wanna keep this mirror, but stay tuned. I have to work on more designs before I release the mirrors. So hopefully I can do that pretty soon. Also, I haven't talked about this as of late, I don't think, but the Homesy workshop is coming up. It's this coming weekend. So a week from yesterday, it's Saturday. So this coming Saturday, I'm a little nervous probably because I haven't done much to prepare. Um, that preparation will most likely be in the next vlog if I vlog next week, which I assume I'm going to. So stay tuned, lots of prep to do there. I don't think I have to purchase much more other than maybe a couple of hot glue guns. So maybe more hot glue sticks, but yeah, it should be good. I'm glad that Sean's going with me because I'm an introvert and I get nervous for any type of public speaking. But I'm sure it'll help that I do have like experience teaching people, teaching people how to tap dance. So not quite the same thing, but, and then also doing the like how to punch needle video gave me like a good guide of what I should talk about because I've already like prepped for teaching punch needle, if that makes sense. But I do want to make notes and things like that of what I want to talk about uh, before we get started with the punch needle project. So. Yeah, let's keep working on this punch needle sheet. Shall I compare to a summer day? She's the sun, she fill out the gray. Quench my thirst, she's my lemonade. The sun will never fade. The cool breeze in the shade, my four leaves to the plate, right to my mistakes. Duncan has one of Donut's toys, and Donut and I are both trying to get it back. He loves her toys more than his own. He'll do this forever. <laughs> you gotta get it, Donut. Uh-oh, <laughs> laptop is involved. <laughs> oh boy, there he goes. It's cute, but he'll destroy her toys. <laughs> Can I have it? Leave it. Leave it. Do you want a treat? Okay, then leave it. <laughs> leave it. You want a treat? You're such a brat. Definitely shouldn't train him this way, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Leave it. Leave it. Okay, good. Leave it. Let me take it. Sit. Sit. Success. It's 20 of five right now. I'm still working on this. I've been getting distracted with the animals. I edited a TikTok and a reel, so I've been doing other things, 
but still want to get this done today. And Sean is in the office working on frame covers. We have a new color that's going to be available, I believe, in both sizes, the large and the small. It's like a navy blue, so that's exciting. Um, he's making this so that we can take photos and list it. Also, I want to get around to listing the frame covers separately. Hopefully I can do that soon. And I'm going to keep punch needling. I thought that this could be casual And that I kept things on my terms Told myself I'm in the habit of Keeping my distance, I won't get hurt Lie to myself, say I'm so mature But I waste my time What is in mind? Can make up my mind Can make up my mind It's 5.50 right now. I kind of prepped the coasters to finish the backings. I still need to glue the fabric down and then glue this to the felt and add my branding tags, all that. Um, I didn't end up doing the two evil eye phone grips because the fabric was pretty loose. So I just did two smiley face phone grips. They're the same design. And yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm hoping I have enough content for a vlog. Let me know if you like this kind of content. Obviously this, for me, it felt like it was more of a wedding planning, my personal life kind of vlog. So if that's not something you're interested in, let me know and I will not include as much of that. I'm kind of wary of including more personal stuff because I know I started gaining followers when I was posting business content. So I want to keep you guys around. Let me know. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Even if I'm